The mayor's state of the city address going on right now as we speak at Gallier Hall. Mayor Latoya Cantrell obviously addressing some important topics right here in New Orleans. WDSU Shea O'Connor joins us live from downtown with the details of the mayor's message. Shea. That's right, Travers. Now, American Trail says uh, since she got into office in 2018, the city has seen some tough times from flooding episodes to tragedies during this year's Mardi Gras season and now a global COVID-19 pandemic. So the mayor says her address is simply to provide hope during this very difficult time. Control says her administration has been trying its best to help the thousands of residents who are facing eviction from their homes as well as figure out a way to to help save jobs of city workers. Just last week, the mayor said every department is facing a 20% reduction. Control says the city is facing a $130 million shortage this year. She's hoping a $280 million bond package will help to solve some of those issues that the city is facing due to the pandemic. But regardless of all of this, she says she's encouraging the city to stay the course. You've heard me say over and over again throughout this crisis that what happens next depends on what we do right now. Right now, we're in the fight. We're going to keep going. Right now, we're called upon to work harder and to work smarter because what we do right now will define New Orleans for the next 300 years. We're moving forward in that future, and we're moving forward together. And that State of the City address did end not too long ago, but you can visit our website. That's WDSU.com for some of the big takeaways from that address. For now, live from downtown Shea O'Connor, WDSU News.